Well, that storm's kind of falling apart on the radar. We got some big raindrops coming down right now, but I'm gonna keep going until it starts sticking up in hopes that we it just gets a little shower. But I don't know. I see my buddies are over there on the other side of the railroad tracks. They're still planting, so we'll go. We'll go a little longer yet and see what happens. The wall of white from the rain's getting closer. Actually, it's not doing anything at this end of the field, but sprinkling. We could get back the other end, and the other end be too wet to plant, and this one be just this end be just fine. I don't know if you can see my buddies over there. They got looks like they got a new Holland pulling a big case planter, and then they got a 350 Steiger like this pulling another one. make it back the end without it getting too sticky on me but I don't know there's big drops coming down well I'm done I, I can't go anymore my drive wheel out there on the end we picked up mud and that's just slipping so my population's compromised with it doing that so Hopefully it doesn't do much and I can come back out tonight like I did the last time I got rained out. But, well, it's Memorial Day and crop insurance deadline for corn's 5th of June and that's coming up on us pretty quick. I, I thought I was expecting a good spring after last year, but it's been tough so far to get any good dry time. From this field, the home farm is right there. I could normally see it, but it's raining a lot harder there than it is here. So it looks like it's about done here. So chances are I might be able to come back over tonight. It kind of works out because I guess we were, I have gotten by to do a little Memorial Day thing. So I would rather be planting corn though, but rain, getting rained out makes that possible. I guess I was heading south after here, but the way it's coming down much further south of here, I, this might be the last field for now. So, trying to wait for it to quit to walk down there to my truck. And we got, I unhooked the nurse tank when I had to go get tools. I hope it's, the jack didn't sink in the mud too much. Look like my buddy's got finished up for it. Uh, started well they they that were in heavy cover crops so they were able to go a little longer you gotta show them how much you appreciate them Universal form of waving at each other every time we pass on the road. It must have poured here because there's puddles everywhere. But I think that'll be all for planting for today, anyways. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you got any questions or anything. Now we're back over here, it's the next day, and we're just on our last pass, and I'm pretty pleased with the way it come out when we re-split this farm. I don't have auto steer or anything, and when I went around my first times and then worked my way this way, um, that last pass, my marker come out within a foot of the marker trail from this side, and it even run in the same track for some, but I was afraid it was going to have a lot of overlap, but it come out pretty close to perfect the whole length of the field. We got lucky and we just dodged the storm a little while ago. It, the dairy I helps just to the north of me a mile and they got rained out of chopping. So 
we got lucky there. We're getting ready to, we got to dump boxes and go to an, one when we get to the next farm because they're, it's non-GMO corn. So we're going to fold up and head over that way. Well, for the weather forecast, predicting this being a stormier day than yesterday, it hasn't been. And there was two storms that missed me and actually my uncle, he was over around Quincy and he got rained out of planting beans which he said he's gonna try to go back in a couple hours he might be over there now but didn't stop me got this 40 acres done and we're getting ready to go to the this is custom work we this is an art corn which we we do all their custom work but we gotta go they've got another farm we gotta go to and I'm glad it worked out that we can get both their farms done at the same time so we don't have to dump planter boxes more than once because they're uh, planting a non-GMO variety here. Well, it's the next day. We're back planting. I wanted to get this farm done last night, but I was having trouble seeing at night and then my 2020 monitor was messing up on me. So I just quit because I was getting frustrated and tired. It was 11 o'clock or so when I quit. So I'm going to uh, try again today. It's cloudy and we're talking showers on the radio. But while this thing was giving me problems last night, I found something that's pretty awesome on this. So if I go to my setup, what I one thing issue I was having with not seeing is the brightness wasn't changing on it so I switch that if I go to systems display go to my sound settings here's my I changed my sound for uh, if there's an issue the alarm it, it's got all kinds of funny ones as cloudy as it is today the air conditioner is working in here fairly decent we got a wet spot here that i've just been picking up and going through because it's getting late enough in the year that we can't be waiting on these little ponds to dry up so i talked to the people we're planting for and they said go ahead and do it dragging the planter through this and mudding it up because the drive wheel starts slipping anyways. I'll, I'll show you what I mean when I say that for the ones that don't know. Alright, we're done here at this farm. I went and helped my uncle for a little bit there. Get the, the seat tender moved and his shop's right there. So we're going to run to it. We go to uh, dump all this non-GMO corn out, which I actually had to get out and add another bag, which we figured our seed up pretty close because there's not half a bag of seed left in the planter from what we ordered. So we gotta clean this out because then we're going right around the corner here to one of his fields and it's it's gonna have traded corn in it. And that usually needs sprayed so we can't we're not gonna risk running this non-GMO out there.
shipping, but I've got out and checked it several times in the last hour. Everything I see, it looks like it's planting just fine. So we just finished up this farm on my uncle's. And it's... I actually was in some soft ground back there and I had the planter up and I had a, I was spinning pretty good to get out of it. Right back here and all them yellow flowers, but went around this pond and there's a couple more that I, well I picked up and drove through but we never if we waited on them to dry up and start planting we'd never get it planted looks like my uncle's folding the bean planter up across the road so we might be out of dry ground for today I don't know we'll stop and chat with my uncle and see what he's thinking and and we may end up going to the shop with it pulling it in for the night now that pond there it, I was able to just pick up and I drove through it and that's the thing about some of our ground it you gotta know that our ground but uh some of it's got a lot of gravel in it and there's water in it and you can drive through it and not cut in at all and then get into some of our other ground and as soon as it got water on it you'd sink to the frame so yeah. i felt i mean i didn't go right out through the middle i cut around and like, went straight through the edges and stuff and that one there on the ends i went through picked the planter up so I didn't mud it up because I did plug it up back there where I was worried about getting stuck. We're going to run to the farm and get the Kubota and we got to go look see if we got any drier ground. If we know we can keep the bean planter going but the corn planter not sure about yet. farm but I'm gonna be done for the night <coughs> uh, first thing in the morning I'm hoping the planter ends up fairly empty because first thing in the morning we're gonna clean out and we got an another custom job to do we don't have to clean completely out but we don't want to take a bunch of our seed to them either so it's 50 acres I want to get that done first thing and then we'll be down to 100 20-ish acres of our own corn to go. I plan on finishing corn tomorrow. I definitely know beans will. And it's probably going to be another late night like this tomorrow night. But calling for rain on Wednesday. So I want, I want to get the planters done for the year. 
we're in conventional tilled ground right now so got a little more dust kicking up there's conventional ground I've planted into this year seems like it's planting nice just finished it's right at two o'clock and we're quitting for the night because I think the planter's about empty and my eyelids are getting heavy. I had a terrible headache a while ago but it's either went away or I'm just too tired to hurt. I don't know. But we'll get back at her in a couple hours in the when the sun comes back up and head to the next job. <laughs> 